everyone i have some dollar tree goodies to share with you guys if you haven't noticed or haven't been into a dollar tree recently they're slowly putting out some christmas stuff at least the ones in my area are and i've heard from other people that their dollar trees are stocking christmas stuff as well so i wanted to show you some goodies that i found from dollar tree as well as some from hobby lobby which I'm very excited about. I got some fun things. If you guys don't watch my Instagram stories, I post a lot on there and I showed what I got from Hobby Lobby on my Instagram stories. So if you kind of want to stay up to date with what I'm doing or see things that I'm getting before anybody else, follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, just more decal and decor and you can see those. So if anybody has not seen what I got from Hobby Lobby, I'll show you that after our Dollar Tree haul. So just jumping right on in. So I found a lot of things that were there last year, and then I found some stuff that I hadn't seen before, which I'm really excited. So I just picked up a couple of these gift box bags. <laughs> I just think they're really, really cute. So this one just says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. Uh, pick your own pine spruce and fir. I just think this is really cute and I think you could do a lot of fun things with it And then this farm fresh Christmas trees with the red truck on it I just think these are so fun. There's a lot of different things that you could do You could put florals in it or you could cut this out and use it as a sign so many things so I grabbed those thought that they were fun staying on the gift bag train found this one just says happy holidays it has a truck with a little banner that says peace again you could use these for so many different kind of diys i just think they're super super cute there was one dollar tree that had just a ton of christmas stuff out ton of bags ton of boxes tons of uh diy stuff so I'm, I have a feeling I need to make like a weekly trip to the Dollar Tree to keep up with the Christmas stuff that they're putting out because I feel like it's already going super quick. So there was a ton of gnome stuff out, a uh, bunch of different gnome signs. I didn't grab them just because I didn't think I would use them, but I did grab some of these gnome picks that I thought were really cute. In fact, I already used one for a Halloween tiered tray. So one of them is gone, but I got a couple of them and I just thought these were fun. You could redo them like I did in that Halloween video. I'll link that in the cards up above right there so that if you want to see how I redid one of them, you can see it. But I just thought these were they were cute, so I grabbed a couple. There were some of these foam scatter decorations with the trees and the boots and the um, snowflakes. I feel like they have these every year, but I had never gotten them before and I wanted to try to do something with them. So I got a pack of these. Again, with the gnomes, they had these little mini ornament gnomes that again, you could do something else with. You could dress them up. You could put some HTV vinyl on there with a little saying on his hat or, you know, the possibilities are endless. So I grabbed one of these. I grabbed a color your own truck. Thought this would be fun to do a DIY with. You could flip it onto the back or just paint over the front. And I guess technically it's not a truck, it's a car. <laughs> so a car with, with the, a tree on the top. So I found a couple new color your own ornaments. Of course they had the usual ones that they had from last year, like the truck and the tree with the holes in it. They had the Mary with the reindeer at the end, but these ones were new. I found some Santa ones, which I thought were really cute. And then also found some snowman ones. I don't know, I, I don't think I saw any others besides this, um, but I'm gonna keep my eye out and see if they bring out any more. But so you got Santa and a snowman and then all the other ones from last year were there as well. And then they had these snowflake little I don't know what they're called maybe like a a garland or something <laughs> but they had two different types of snowflakes and I just got both of them and they each have four little snowflakes on it you could cut these apart and just use the snowflakes on their own individually or you know there's so many things so many things running through my mind with the snowflakes. So I did grab one of each design. These ones were fun that I saw. 
um, for this year are these cute little ice skate boots. I just thought that these were really fun and they have the cute little snowflake on them. It comes with two of them, I'm assuming, so you could do some sort of dangling action with them, hang them or something. But I thought that these would be really cute to DIY, put on a sign, or hang them maybe from a wreath, something like that. But these were new and I thought that they were cute. And of course, I picked up a bunch of their Christmas trees because I feel like you can't go wrong with the trees during Christmas time and doing DIYs. So I did pick up several of these so I could do lots of DIYs with them and yeah. They had these last year. Again, they had like the gingerbread man and the Santa head and I can't remember what else, but they had just the usual things like they had out last year. So I just grabbed a couple of these. And then what I thought was really fun that I'm pretty sure are new this year, gnomes. I'm a fan of gnomes. I really like them. If you haven't noticed already I like to DIY them I have a whole gnome collection on my website for craft kits um, so I love me some gnomes so they have a boy gnome and a girl gnome and I was really excited my husband actually went out you know you got a keeper when he calls you and says I'm right next to a Dollar Tree want me to go check out what they have Yes, thank you, I, I do. So he actually found these in a couple towns over from where we live, uh, just on his way home from work. And he picked me up several of the boys and several of the girls. And I just thought that these were so stinking cute. Cause last year when I was doing gnome DIYs, I was taking apart gnome signs so that I could use the gnomes. But now they have the gnomes individually. So really excited for these and excited to do some fun DIYs with them. And then I want to say that they had this next item last year. I don't remember if I saw it or not, but so I don't know if it's new. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but it is the snowman wreath form, which I thought was really fun and cute. He would be really fun to put together and make a little snowman wreath for your front door. So I did grab one of these or my husband grabbed me one of these and uh, I'm excited to dress him up. Okay, so that's everything that I got from the Dollar Tree regarding Christmas. Like I said, I feel like Dollar Trees are slowly trying to bring them in. I have seen a lot of ornaments that are the same from last year. So I go in trying to find the new stuff and if I find something new and I like it, I will grab it. If you wanna kinda stay up to date with what I'm getting and see without you know a whole haul video check out my instagram and follow my stories on there and i will try to post what i get off of there but now i'm going to jump into my hobby lobby haul really quickly before i move on into my hobby lobby stuff i wanted to let you guys know that my thanksgiving craft kits are now on sale on my website more decal and decor.com if you haven't checked them out i will leave my website linked in the description box below so that you can see them christmas and winter are up next so keep an eye out for those i'm really excited for you guys to see them let's get into my hobby lobby haul i found some really fun stuff like i am really really excited for christmas <laughs> really excited to diy with these things i love shopping at hobby lobby for christmas crafts i just feel like they have a really good variety things are really nice quality and right now i believe that they were either 30 or 40 percent off i can't remember completely but the christmas crafts were on sale so it justified my purchase even more so one place that i like to look when i'm going to hobby lobby is their mini decorations so um i feel like a lot of Hobby Lobbies are kind of similar. They have a section where if you have like a mini tree, you can get mini ornaments. And I like looking there because then I can find a lot of mini things to do DIYs with. So um, I found these Buffalo Check bows that are mini and just super, super cute. And they both come with six on them. They were $2.99, like I said, either 30 or 40% off. And then I also found these red burlap bows, which I I just think these are so much fun. You could use them on so many projects and you don't have to make your own bows if you're not good at making bows. There you go, buy Hobby Lobby's pre-made mini bows and you got yourself covered. Again, with the, it's the My Little Christmas is what's labeled on here, just like with those other ones. But there's these little stars that I thought were really cute. They're already 
opening up, so I may as well take one out and show you. But they're these metal, kind of rusty looking stars that I just think are really, really cute and really pretty. So I grabbed a pack of these. They were $6.99, or they, they were $5.99, and it comes with six of them. Now, I know you can get the little bottle brush trees from Dollar Tree, but I just like Hobby Lobby's more. I don't know why, I just do. So I like to get a bunch from there. I have these ones that are in a 10 pack and they were $2.99 and then on sale, which I just think that's a really good deal. And I just, I don't know, I feel like the quality is a bit better. I don't know. And then again, you have the My Little Christmas. These were $3.99 and it comes with nine pieces, but these ones, I don't know, they just, they look different there's a difference to them these ones are definitely more full and maybe these ones just look a little bit more flocked i don't know i grabbed both though because i thought why not i also got a pack of mini wreaths that i thought would be really fun to do crafts with oh and then i almost forgot i got even more mini of <laughs> the bottle brush trees 12 of them for 2.99 so they're just even more mini than the other ones that I picked up. So all sorts of sizes of trees. Why not? I am sure I will use them up. In fact, I think last year I got to a point where I was running out and I couldn't find them in the stores anymore. So I stocked up this time. Okay, and then there was a section of a whole bunch of Christmas crafts, like Christmas ornaments that you could decorate and all sorts of stuff. And I got a lot of it because I was really excited. This first one is a very merry holly jolly Christmas tree ornament. There are six of them. They were $3.99 on sale. And I just thought that these were so fun. I am just really excited for these. I did find a similar truck ornament. They, this one only comes with three pieces and it was still $3.99. So I would say probably the trucks at Dollar Tree are the better deal. Um, size wise, they honestly look almost as thin as the Dollar Tree ones. So I don't know why you only get three in this one and for the other one you get six and it's the same price. Maybe it's a truck thing. Trucks are popular this year, I don't know. So definitely, some items are better at Hobby Lobby, some items are better at Dollar Tree, but I just wanted to grab some of these and show you guys that they had these ones here as well. Maybe you can't find them at the Dollar Tree. So they do have an option for these at Hobby Lobby. They also had snowflakes. They come in a pack of six, $3.99 plus 30 or 40% off of that. Um, and they, yeah, they just are snowflake uh, make your own ornament kind of deal. So there are those, and they're pretty big too, which I think are really nice. And then I found these just Joy to the World ornaments with the little wreath. You get three of them. They are fairly large, and yeah, the words are just in the middle with the wreath around the edges. Just think it's cute. It'll make for cute crafts. I found these tree ornaments. There are four of them. They do look like an MDF, but they do have, they're already painted, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. Just kind of like a distressed white uh, wood to it. $3.99 on sale. And yeah, thought these were cute as well. And then last of those little ornaments, I found these galvanized trees. You get four of them, $3.99 on sale. Now these I'm really excited about. I found these mini, I guess they're just called mini icons. They're in the Christmas crafts and they were $4.99. And these ones you get all sorts of fun stuff. You get a Santa and a mini uh, truck with a tree. You get a reindeer, an ornament tree, a sock or stocking, um, a candy cane or just a cane, <laughs> and a gingerbread man and a snowman. I think these are really fun. I actually found a pack of these for Halloween last year that I used in some of my videos. Um, and a lot of people say they can't find this kind of stuff. So I found these ones, Christmas theme, um, in their Christmas craft section. So there were those ones, and then they also carried a snowflake one with all sorts of different snowflakes in there, different designs, and I just think that these are perfect 
for crafting for Christmas. So I grabbed one of each of these. And then I did pick up these mini buying race. You get eight of them for $4.99 and then they're on sale. Everything at Hobby Lobby Christmas wise was on sale. I don't know why I keep saying that, but the Christmas stuff, it was on sale. Uh, so I used a ton of these last year. So I thought, oh, why not grab some more and stock up? It's just fun to make cute little things with the mini vine wreaths. So I grabbed a pack of these and then I grabbed some of their ornament pieces. I thought this was really cute. The tobacco basket, it was $7.99. But I thought this would be really cute to DIY over in the front or just, just some sort of craft. I like tobacco baskets a lot. So this just kind of popped out to me and I grabbed it. And then I found a two pack of these really cute galvanized barns. Look how adorable these are. I just think that these are so much fun and they come with a beaded string at the top. It has two wood beads, but I just thought that these would be really cute. Even if I wasn't gonna use them for crafts, they would be really cute just sitting out. They could be cute for a tear tray, um, all sorts of different stuff. So I grabbed some of those. I also saw this and I couldn't pass it up. I just think it's absolutely adorable and just one of those spur of the moment ones. So it's just this little house or barn that says Merry Christmas and it's got the buffalo check in green. It was $5.99. I just think it's adorable. So I grabbed one of those. I think, again, it would be perfect for a tear tray to kind of decorate and put everything together. So grab me one of those. And the very last thing for my haul is another ornament that was $4.99. And it's just this cute little barn with the windmill. And I just think it's adorable. So I thought I could either put this in some sort of craft, do a DIY with it, or again, put it on my tier tray because we all know how much I love my tier trays. So grab that and that is the last of it. That's all that I got. Let me know if your guys' Dollar Tree is stocking up for Christmas yet. Have you found anything new or exciting that I should be watching out for? Or if you've gone to Hobby Lobby, what are some of your favorite things that you like to buy there to do Christmas crafts with? Or maybe even just decorate your house with? I could spend hours and hours and hours <laughs> walking the aisles of Hobby Lobby. Whenever I go there, I need a good couple hours to just really focus in on everything that's there because there's so much and it can get so overwhelming. <laughs> and I always feel like I'm leaving without looking at everything and I need to look at everything. That's it, you guys. Let me know if you guys are starting to stock up on Christmas crafts yet. I'd love to hear what you guys found in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.